My name's Chloe and I work here at Cornwall Record Office. We have over half a million documents in our collections and I'm going to tell you about one very special one, written by William Scorn over 300 years ago. In this short film, I'm going to take the document home and look at why it and its author are so important. William Scorn was born in St Germans in 1600 and lived in this house, which is where he wrote this document. He was really passionate about this area of East Cornwall. He was very active in local affairs and even helped to defend the area during the Civil War. As he got older, he became more interested in the Cornish language. I'm joined by Professor Mark Stoyle, who's extensively researched William Scorn and is going to tell me a bit more about him. Yes, this is a document which was written by William Scorn towards the end of his life, and in it he's not only preserved a translation of an original Cornish document which came into his possession that had been written during the medieval period, but he's also jotted down uh, many of his thoughts about Cornish culture um, and identity, and he's also written and uh, included a brief history of the Cornish people. OK. So why do you think he wrote it? Um, I think that he wrote the document because he became so concerned about the decline of the Cornish language. And it so happened that at some point in his life, which we're not quite sure when, um, an original manuscript copy of a medieval Cornish manuscript came into his hands. And he was very worried that this, was, this document would be lost. And as a result, he had uh, a translation of it made into English. And he used that as, if you like, the centrepiece of this book. And he wrote his observations around that. But he couldn't actually speak Cornish. No, because he grew up in this part of Cornwall, um, in the east of the um, of Cornwall, which was almost entirely, which was entirely English speaking uh, by the time of his birth, uh, he never learnt to speak the language at all. So why do you think it was so important for him to preserve the language? Well, he seems to have become more and more proud of his own Cornish identity over time as his life developed. And in part, I think that may be a reflection of his own experiences during the Civil War. Obviously, um, he was part of a, a band of brothers, if you like, fighting together to defend Cornwall against outside attack. And I think that made him more interested in Cornish than he'd been in the past. And he also became uh, concerned and worried that most other Cornish gentlemen and women had no concern for the language and seemed to have been quite happy to see it go. And he was determined to prevent that if he could. So just to sort of sum up really, what makes this document and William Scorn so important today? Well I think Scorn himself is very important because he was the first um, Cornish gentleman that we know of who really went out of his way uh, to try and uh, uh, protect the language and to preserve what fragments of it he could find and he was also proud of it in a way that most of his uh, peers weren't and he's also terribly important, the book itself is terribly important um, because it preserves a number of fragments of the Cornish language that we wouldn't have otherwise and a number of traditions and stories and of course Scorn himself didn't just carry out work in his own study um, he also encouraged also um, other native Cornish speakers in the west of Cornwall uh, to communicate with each other in the tongue and most important of all uh, to write letters in the Cornish language and to exchange them between each other so he set up if you like a tradition of uh, native Cornish letter writing which hadn't existed before and he encouraged um, uh, the sort of Cornish speakers of the lower classes to be proud of their tongue in a way that perhaps they hadn't been able to in the past. And I think we could fairly say that in many ways um, he is the father, really, the founding father of the Cornish language revival. Was based right here. Exactly, and this is the house where this text was written and now it's been brought back here perhaps for the first time in 300 years. Fantastic. Thanks, mm. Mark. My pleasure. I'm back here in Cornwall Record Office's Strong Rooms, which has been home to this document since the 1960s. As William Scorn thought it was important enough to write, and people have thought it was important enough to look after for 300 years, we also think it's important to look after and preserve this manuscript, just like William Scorn wanted to preserve the Cornish language all those years ago. What would you preserve? <laughs>